After the hard selling this past month, the Dow has done a doji day. Did a hammer, almost a hammer signal yesterday and a doji day today, which shows there's some indecision going on in the oversold conditions. However, there's still a couple factors that are not confirming that this is the bottom. Number one, we haven't had a reversal or a uh, candlestick signal confirm that the bulls are stepping in. And number two, we're still trading below the T-line. This scenario is true in both the Dow and the S&P 500. Although the transportation index has been trading positive for the last three days, it doesn't have a reversal signal. It has support at the 200-day moving average, and notice where it closed today, just at the T-line. So it hasn't closed above the T-line. This still leaves room for the possibility there's going to be some more downside. It also leaves some room for the possibility that this is where some of the buying is starting. And that is more evident over in the NASDAQ, where it did kind of a belt hold signal yesterday, and today they opened it much lower and did a bullish engulfing signal behind the uh, belt hold signal. However, this is not confirmed yet. When you see two side-by-side -side bullish candles like that in a downtrend, that could be merely uh, short covering profit taking. It'll be very important to see what they do with the markets tomorrow poss or, uh, with a great prospect or uh, expectation that they have to open up positive and start trading up positive to confirm these signals. On the other hand, they could still be blasting this to the downside, and this was just a couple days of short covering. And a major advantage of candlestick analysis is it shows which stocks are getting great participation uh, even when the market is trading off. or uh, It basically boils down to that it can graphically show you where the investor interest is coming into. Obviously, the Ebola stocks are getting a lot of uh, trading interest, and our recommendation or our participation in the NLNK stock is doing extremely well, moving from a inverted hammer, morning star signal, a close above the T-line, and then kind of a, uh, a trend kicker signal, and breaking out into new territory. The candlestick signals and patterns allow an investor that even if you're in a sluggish market and you don't want to be going short because it's too far down, it pinpoints which stocks are moving aggressively. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.